we all right. get back. I think oh, we yeah. are all very exhausted and tired, but hopefully it will not take too much time. I know it's the end of the day. So yeah, my name is Mary. I'm part of the foundation team. And I think earlier on, we already had a, a come over here. Yeah, earlier on, we already had a um, session on that study focus room, I think you all remember. So this is just like a follow-up um, workshop to, you know, talk about what improvements uh, you all think that the incubator should have. Next slide. Yeah, so I think this is just like, um, I'll just go through some background and then um, we'll talk about what's working well. I use Google Translate for if the French is not <laughs> good, uh, please, yeah. And then we talk about the recommendations and then we we'll just wrap up. Um, yeah, so yeah, the objective is just to gain perspectives on, you know, what you all think. Um, you all know the incubator, who knows the incubator? What's the incubator, everybody? Okay, cool, we have experts then, I don't need to say anything. <laughs> Yeah, multilinguality is our movement superpower. And um, I think I was hearing is it from UNESCO, we have 7,000 languages. And on the editions on Wikipedia, we have about 300. So there are many more languages that are spoken by millions of people and which they are not Wikipedias, which this is a blocker to our, us fulfilling our mission as well. Um, yeah. This is the French last slide, and yeah, so I think the question here that we're asking ourselves is how can we, what is the strategy for seizing this opportunity and how can we lower the many barriers that many languages have been facing for years? Um, yeah, so it's really what it is here is where the new languages are incubated and I think we've had stories of a few and I'm glad to see, I think I was hearing your story as well that you are almost getting out of the incubator as well. So happy to hear more of that. So, um, so in the foundation, there is a language in inclusive inclusion, sorry, initiative. It's a cross cross um, team um, initiative with the product and tech, like I'm from the language and content growth group of teams. Most of you know translation tools and then working together with the um, community growth group of teams. And there is one of the objectives among many to have a clear picture of the state of new, of the languages and also the process of supporting and existing um, new languages to the Wikimedia. How can we streamline that um, process? And so we are working towards identifying recommendations uh, for improving social and the technical infrastructure to support existing languages, Q4, I think it's somehow June or something. So definitely like your inputs will come in a long way um, sharing um, some of the thoughts that we had. Next yeah, so we'll have different uh, questions. We'll just go to Menti, we'll just start uh, maybe that was the last slide. Yeah. We'll just scan the code and provide. Uh, let me provide input. Just use your phone, <laughs> scan the code. Hello, Sadi. Welcome. Thank you. And then you'll see a set of questions there. We'll have like maybe five minutes of my time. We just go through and then we'll have a short discussion. Should we start the right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I think the code they use is one decoder. Put this link. But it, it takes me here. So I can also run you through the questions. So yeah, the first one is just, just to have an idea of who is in the room, um, which which projects are you contributing to um, in the languages you're contributing? And then how would you describe the language incubator process in one word? Um, what is currently working well? What gaps you see right now? Um, next one. 
um, what recommendations you have. And then the last question is generally for languages, what suggestions do you have to improve? Um, aside from the incubator, like generally, that's just a bonus question. We'll not be discussing it here. Um, I think when when you scan this, mm -hmm. it takes you directly to. Um, it took me directly to the question about the challenges. I think that's why it's being populated. Oh, not the previous one. Maybe you want to focus on that one. Yes. Yes. Is the code working? It's not working? Yeah, it's just this. Oh, my. It's just. Challenges. So maybe you can focus on it. All right. I'll add the code. It's showing one question? <laughs> No, but I see others have it. Uh, if you refresh it, it will be working now. Okay. I think you need to Let's see what we have. Yeah, you need to do the next slide from your admin. You need to do it? Oh, yeah, in order for people to see if you have to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, okay, does everyone all good? Done. Who do we go to the first slide? Oh, we have to refresh or something. Okay. All right. So yeah, here we see. Yeah, a few people and where they contribute. We have English. There is also Wikidata and. The other one, Tashni. Yeah, so that's actually uh, a lot of languages in Morocco. Yeah. Uh, we went from the incubator to the office of the media. This is a couple of years ago. Interesting. I think it's the language that I was hearing yesterday or something. With him or something? Is this the Oh, all right. There is only one language here that people are saying French. How about the rest? <laughs> Sorry? You didn't get to the question too? Yeah, yeah probably. They've <laughs> changed. It's, there's more. Okay. Thanks, turn. For those who are joining us, we are scanning the code and then we have a couple of questions in there that we are going through on the language incubator. At least some people want the code still. You either scan it or you just go to menti.com, then you enter the code. Okay, we have a few responses. How you People are saying it is can be time consuming, can be smoother, workable. Who can who wants to share? One person. I I will try some because it's been a struggle trying to uh, navigate and for me personally. Um, one of my challenges um, for incubator was 
I tried to. So we're running a project where um, one of the languages we chose, unfortunately, was in Tibetan. So um, I needed to find out if our participant actually edited the articles. And because we couldn't name some of the articles to the dashboard, for it to give me like a very um, hands on um, data about what they've done, I had to do, go manually to the language and see everybody's edits and see if they are indeed part of my group and see what, what the quality of work is. So for me, that was tiresome. And that's why. Um, I came in late, but I hope I'm on track. Uh, the challenge that I had with the incubator is the interface is a bit different from the wiki. So when you are used to the Wikipedia page, now trying to assist people on the incubator is different. I literally fa failed to put references because the referencing thing was not there. Um, what else? Um, the other thing was the, the way the article is very different. The issue of referencing, um, it's, it's not it's in the way we were trying to translate it for you, but we failed to make it look like the other side. For sharing, but there's someone who wrote user friendly. Who's that person? How is this friendly <laughs> to you? I'm curious to me about this. <laughs> Are you here? <laughs> no, cloudy. What does cloudy mean? Is it the weather? <laughs> someone can say about cloudy. Okay, we'll move to the next question. What's currently working well? Looks like nothing is really working. Getting you guys to start translating is easy, but for my language, there is a little bit machine translation help. Nothing else is working well, Who can share? Oh, anyone else? There's nothing good about <laughs> what is currently there. Sorry? Yes, I'm saying getting newbies is one thing that is interesting because people enjoy writing articles or trying to explain difficult things in their own language. It's easier and you, you don't have to struggle with trying to translate. You just speak and write as it is. How about for I think yours is currently in the process. What's working well? The problem we have is uh, how to get, to get people uh, gathering and working uh, for a long time to convince the English community to approach this. Also, we have technical problems in the English uh, place, the English place, the without the uh, some terms, CSS, and some some other problems. This is going to be developed by the time we have to be in the United States. Uh, we have ability to accept new language minority or minority and then yeah there was also that point of you know your language so you don't have to think about it 
Since you went live, do you want to share anything that worked well? No? So, yeah. Yeah, as, uh, as Bhagavan said, uh, yeah, a few years ago, we moved from uh, the incubator and uh, the official uh, uh, domain or Wikipedia. And it was not an easy process, it was a very long process. And uh, one of the, um, I'm not going to, to start with uh, what is working with, but what is challenging is that it was a lonely journey. Um, we started very few of us that were very interested. We were very motivated that, okay, we have a lot of, um, a lot in our culture, in our language that we want, we, we, we deserve to have a Wikipedia. So we started writing uh, as many articles as we want. Um, we didn't abide. The one one thing that was working well is that we didn't abide by by the rules of the official uh, domain. We we set the rules for ourselves. For example, the, the alphabet we used and all the, the terms we used, etc. So that was very good for us. So we have some sort of freedom so that we focus on on the output. And then we had these discussions. We had some and a platform where we can. We can have discussion. We we meet every now and then, and okay, we decide on what what would be the the, the term that we gonna use here, or what what would be the next step. And we had some uh, language that were actually, we were so lucky because in Morocco we have a research center where we have la language that are uh, uh, working or researching for, uh, in Tamazight uh, and in Tashmid. So we 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 got some support from them. Um, we linked it with uh, with, um, with support from uh, Wikipedia, specifically Amir. Um, yeah, it it was a long process actually, but I think uh, the new the new uh, variant of Amazir, which is Tamazir, is of course gonna standard. standard one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, is is gonna save some time because we we in a sense paved the way for for the these things. So we have contacts in the in the research center and. I think it's it's gonna move quicker in a sense, but the uh, uh, challenges are still there. Thank you. So for me, um, one of the challenges is that when you are onboarding a new language, there's the need for translation. You have to go to translate wiki first as the first step to translate um, the most commonly used messages and on media wiki and many other messages so that when you set up the incubator you can have all of them showing in your own language i've seen many um, new language communities just translate they don't translate but they just jump onto the incubator and then they start writing articles so to see a um, great account reflect in your language you need to go to translate wiki.net to be able to translate all the most important messages and amir has been able to list all the useful messages for all the language communities and he usually post them on their top pages. So for communities like mine, the challenge was that it was difficult for us to come to terms with what we should call like create an account because there's nothing like that in our language. What is logging? How do I say login in that one? How do I say uh, log out, you know, upload? So all these useful messages on media will give needs to be translated in your own language so that um, you can have all of them localized fully. But this has been a big challenge for some community members because they don't have these terms available in their language. Sometimes they need to engage like language experts to be able to create their own terms. And then they just keep it like that forever. Thank you so much for sharing. I don't even know what to say the terms you're saying in translate with like in Swahili, like my colleague there, how you say upload and it's always difficult to like translate all those in the technical terminologies in your language. So yeah, I understand. Anyone else challenges now that you did not have any things working well? We have no regulation, there are fewer admins than the awareness in mainstream channels lack of partnerships, lack of investment, um, need more intentional coordination and storytelling than the technical skills for editing. I think we've mentioned that phonetic linguistics and the alphabets as well, some keyboard support. And then some people who need it, I think there's also a component of awareness. It's linking to the second point here. 
And then um, it is tracking everyone's edit on a dashboard, like the outreach dashboard. How is that a challenge? Anyone? No? I have never heard of it. Okay, then the literacy as well for new Wikipedia. Okay, let's go to recommendations. What are we recommending then? No one. So there was no response? Well, it just, it, it shows up as you move the, uh -huh. as you change the slide. So if you refresh the Menti page, you should see this question now. Um, what recommendations do we have? So, for me, I would say uh, documentation. The incubator, like those working or maintain the incubator, have tried so much to be able to support smaller language communities or communities working on small language computer versions. But there hasn't been like a resource for people to refer to. There's no documentation. So if there's going to be like documentation where communities can just go and then have first some information on how to start the test wiki, how to you know translate on translate media wiki, and then any other useful information that they will need in order to get their language uh, on you know incubator, that would be very useful. The second recommendation I would make is that there's the need for you know, uh, for us to look at the, the te templates, like citation templates that they have created, it should be like an easy way. If there's nothing to be changed, at least the translate and um, the citation templates should be changed. There should be like uh, an easy way to add citations to ask them. The reason is that most people create content on their incubator, but when they are finally approved, they lose so many content because it doesn't meet the standard of like of an encyclopedic article on Wikipedia. For example, most people add um, capital letters to all their titles, which is unacceptable. And then um, adding like interlinks inside articles, having like proper referencing and many about different kinds of standard articles. If you don't do this and you leave the incubator, you might end up losing most of the contents that you have created because at the importation stage, there's no, it doesn't meet the squad and the requirements. So you lose all the articles. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sadiq. Oh, yeah, we are, know many yeah, problems, but yeah, we don't have to just there also recorded. <laughs> we just know like this thing has a problem, uh, but how do we solve it? Here or the Thank you, my part. Um, this, this is, this is a, a meetup, not a session. So. I know we are recommending like the the chief no, 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 office no. where we're supposed Sometimes to see the damage we've done we've been active for it's such a time. Um, sometimes because much. people are busy and with the languages, you probably have a session in a year. I don't know how if it's possible that whenever you see some activity in that language, please be sure to know that people at least decided to do something, and then you, you you say, okay, go ahead, and then you pull it from, you remove it from the incubator to the main space. Then maybe from the main space, during the course of the year, we can be editing it while it's on. Because again, trying to go back to another session, other people, huh? That's interesting. Did someone say something about the a lot more should be done in Mint. You mean the new translation? Yes. Open. So another um, challenge as well that uh, we notice um, for languages that don't have um, a lot more machine translation, because usually that's the case. Thank you. 
But then we are not as simple. So if we have like a machine transmission base for it, then now we can improve it into the right content. So that's why I think maybe the, I think Mint doesn't support all languages now. So maybe if more work can be done to improve the number of languages on Mint to make it more easy for other uh, languages to also because machine translation, I think that's a lot of problem. Thank you. Thank you. So I have a problem with people using it because, like, uh, for Mori, for example, it's supported on Mint, but it doesn't translate. Most of the users don't know how to use it. They just assume because it's machine transmission, they just copy everything and paste it there, and then they copy it directly and paste. I've seen most of their articles distorted, like. Even those that were manual created, some committee members just cleared them and then copied the English with all the references and all the, you know, everything that is there in the article on the English computer. And then after transmission, they don't try to fix it, they just paste it like that and then they publish. So if people are going to use me, also understand, you agree with me that a lot of people like machine learning is not that perfect. So we would rather focus on teaching people, especially new and uh, contributors. It's okay if you are not like an expert of the language, but we should discourage people from using machine translation, especially at the initial stage. Most of them will just be lazy, and then they'll be translating with everything that is not supposed to be translated, copy and paste, and then I know they will spoil everything that the article. But as I said, also there are some requirements that they need to be able to import all the trans uh, the articles in the incubator to the main Wikipedia. So if people are relying on machine translation, they may lose like a lot of content because they don't meet the Wikipedia standard. So for new piece or new committees, I strongly would recommend that they engage like that would expect. And then they, even if you have to use machine uh, machine translation, you should do like sections. That way it will be easier for people to fix things when there's a mess. Yeah, that's a day. It's always the human aspect in this. I think we are almost done. Any final words? Um, the next steps here would be essentially to gather your recommendations and provide them as part of the other recommendations, but then we'll be following up um, on the next steps on how we can continuously get more feedback. We are aiming at around Q4. It's essentially June, I think, around the last May. Is it May to June? Um, yeah, April to June, sorry. Yeah, and then we can see potentially the next time we'll have um, maybe an easier process or what recommendations we have to make it easier to increase the number of languages on Wikipedia. Any final comments from anyone? No, go, go you all for dinner. Thanks for staying yeah. with me. <laughs> Thank you.